5, local from WPTV. This is News Channel 5 at 6. Local coverage you can count on. Tonight, for the first time, we hear from an investigator disputing PBSO Sergeant Michael Custer's story from the night he shot and killed Seth Adams nearly three years ago. Last night, the Contact 5 investigators, along with the Palm Beach Post, laid out new details being revealed in court filings. Tonight, Katie Legrone is live from Loxahatchee with how the investigator lays out his case. Katie. Out here at the family's Loxahatchee landscaping business, it is really impossible to forget what happened in the parking lot here. This wall with Seth's name greets passive customers as they come here. Those pictures of Seth were just added about a half hour ago. It is really a sitting reminder out here of a shooting that some say didn't add up then and doesn't add up now. And I realized that, oh my gosh, I don't see any justification for this. With more than three decades of law enforcement under his belt. The truth is the truth. We don't get to make it up. Right. Former Martin County Sheriff's Deputy Dennis Root is an excessive force expert who testified for the defense in George Zimmerman's trial. Will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God. I do. And was the first independent investigator to look into the shooting death of Seth Adams. This case keeps me up at night because I don't have answers that I can honestly go to the family and say this was a good shooting. This was somebody that did the best that he could given the event he was facing. Root was first hired by the family's attorney in 2012 after the May 16th shooting left 24-year-old Adams dead on his own property and the Palm Beach County Sheriff defending a supervisor's actions. We don't expect our deputies to be assaulted. We don't expect them to have their lives placed in jeopardy. Root maintains from day one, Sergeant Michael Custer's account of what led up to his decision to pull the trigger didn't add up. At the end of the day, looking at all of the reports, I found nothing that through physical evidence and the statements made by Sar Sergeant Custer, nothing that justified his application of deadly force. Like DNA that wasn't collected from the scene and forensic evidence, he says, shows Seth wasn't standing where Sergeant Custer said he was when Custer shot him. When you looked at the physical evidence, there was a blood trail that started some distance away from the truck. Then there's Custer's 2011 performance evaluation that questioned his ability to make sound decisions under pressure. I'm looking at it going, there is a warning sign right here. This is an indicator that there may be a problem. Why was there no follow-up? Much of Root's findings are now highlighted in the family's ongoing civil case against the sheriff's office. Sergeant Custer was unjustified in shooting Seth Adams, and the sheriff's department absolutely, from the beginning, ratified his actions and decided from the get-go this shooting was justified. Leaving a family still searching for the truth going on three years later. And Sergeant Michael Custer was cleared of any criminal wrongdoing. The civil case is expected to start in April or May. PBSO, of course, not commenting tonight, saying they don't comment on in the middle of litigation. In Loxahatchee, Katie Legrone, WPTV News Channel 5.